Hi, everyone. My name is Yevgeny. I'm from Belarusian State University of Informatics and Radio Electronics. And in my presentation, I would like to, to criticize C++. So, const expression in it. There are several types of optimization that are based on uh, calculations made by compiler at the compilation stage. And historically, one of them, the constant which appeared, it's not known when it appeared, but it was back in 1970s. So the very first Fortran compilers used it. But in the mid-2000 years, a new approach appeared. This new approach appeared for D language first. And it's hard to say who was the pioneer of that, because the community, uh, the C++ development community, started talking about this optimizer even earlier. There is a more generalized definition that I suggest you considering the calculation at compilation, at compilation level, because there are scenarios at which a compiler can actually run optimization and calculate some values at compilation stage, but these, val these values do not fall into certain constant scenarios. So let's look into in several examples of how different coding programming languages work with different types of optimization at compilation stage. The first one would be C Sharp. It does not have CTFE support. But at the same time, this is the standard of C-sharp language requires uh, the constant string. Haskell, 2002, uh, rep Microsoft research people decided to expand Haskell. So there was an expansion because the metaprogramming using C++ templates was popular those times. And this extension did not introduced any sub-languages or sub-idioms, but it introduced some clear-cut uh, like borders or distinctions of what is done at compilation and before compilation. And it's also provided tools for developers that can be used in order to separate the code. Another interesting example here, Scala language, a very interesting approach. So CC can be implemented on the basis of macros and the function here is using not our arg initial arguments or source arguments or the subtree of AST syntax tree so you can manipulate with this function the way you like and the compiler will then replace the original values and will continue uh, with optimization another powerful this is a powerful tool but there is a big drawback about Scala here so every compiler uses its own optimizing, so they do not tolerate each other. They cannot be combined. The Rust language, and this language follows C++ path. So they have specific classifier, and Rust is trying to formalize what's going to be calculated at the compilation stage and what's not. And I believe the most interesting example is the D language. And it supports CTFE, but it does not provide any idioms or any specifiers to construction that can help a developer to accelerate this optimization. Getting back to the history, actually, how it all came up. In C++ language, the optimization appeared as part of method coding or metaprogramming on the basis of templates. The templates were provided by the author of the language and parametric polymorphous poses was introduced in the language. So also the standard library was developed because STU was not existing those days. And the family of algorithms that suggests such container types is something that is a must-have, something that was really needed. 
Therefore, the template mechanism was suggested in order to make algorithms independent. But in 1994, it appeared that using this mechanism can help run the optimization in process of compilation. There is an interesting report by Edgar Anar, who actually found it out, and he demonstrated it on one of the standardizing committee meetings. And the, it happened so that because of adding the template mechanism, the C++ was added with another sub-language. So a fully fleshed language that can be used for optimization at the stage of compilation. And such event was, of course, not missed by the developer community because it's interesting, it can be used and applied. Therefore, meta programming or oh, propagated, and meta-programming on template base appeared. A number of books were published. And at the same time, if you look in practice and how it's looked in industrial uh, programming, we see that the majority of style guides do not encourage using meta-programming based on templates, saying that it's complex to support, complex to operate with. Second stage, some generalized constant statements appear. Well, they were first voiced in 1993 by Gabriel Dysroyds, who actually wanted to expand the mechanism of uh, constant combination. So it was not an effort to make metaprogramming on, based on templates some more friend. And no, it was a different purpose. In 1996, it was a more fundamental proposal coming up uh, in which the authors uh, suggested introducing new specifiers. And what was the motivation behind it? So some updates to the standard uh, library brought up some complications. In some cases, some beat masks had to be updated. So as for other semantics, this is the example that we are using the constant, using fu function call in order to compute the, to calculate the array or to estimate it. But in practice, the main application that context pro was available for us to optimize the coast. So the slide shows the example of the code that shows the difference between the DTFE and CTE. As you see, the code in this function cannot be optimized due to constants because there is no uniform statement and the constant bind ending is limited to with one combination. It's not eligible code because it depends on the number of external factors, but we see that the majority of code here and the values B and M can be calculated by compiler because they, it uses it as a constant, as constant. Therefore, this function can wrap down to the final two codes or lines of code. So CTFE can be a mechanism which has, a, unfortunately, a limited application. Let's look into another code sample. So there are two functions here, SAM1, SAM2. They are fully equivalent. The only difference between them is that they are using const, context per uh, function. And the function f, the constant is not going to compile and the compiler will show an error because because the variable is marked as const, const expert. But the question is, so it can be actually calculated, right, at the compilation level. Why is it not happening? So the compi compiler says that there is error, not because of the impossibility to do the optimization, because he says that there is some specifier. Look into the, in the next line of code, equivalent code, calling out another function, and everything is OK. So CTF eligible, absolutely. 
The next question is then why do we need this game with the tagging then if it does not help? It's not helping. So the specifier which is applied to the function is a positive hint to the compiler, which says that it can be okay to do compilation and calculate some values and process. But the question there is the following: two equivalent values. One is using constexpr function, and the second one is not constexpr. So actually, the compiler can calculate the values in, in both things. So where is the difference? Why is it needed at all? And there's the third big point, which is about the following. So constexpr specifier, whether it is or no, it does not impact the function behavior. Let's imagine that the compiler, for example, is not using the hint and is not calculating the SAM1 function in compilation and puts the function call and the correct value will get back. So in term, from the perspective of the developer, he will not see any difference. So semantic function remains the same. And vice versa, if compiler, for example, decides to take SAM2 function, there will be no difference in the outcome. The main point here is that everything that const expert leads to is just a game about optimization. Another scenario, which is also true, is this line 1819. You see there that there can be some uh, justification about const expert introduction. Why? Because CTFE is used here for generating the code. The compiler has to uh, calculate the value and put it into the code that is going to generate. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The why all that if we have the counterexample, the same code in D language, compiler is calculating all that. So in D language, there is no analog of const expert and there is nothing similar. But when the function is used for code generation and for compiler it is obligatory, it will just stop on this point and say that uh, I can't calculate, uh, check the code. And we move on. What do we have uh, through adding con text proviso. So C++ is three languages. We have standard, general C++. We have a language for meta programming on the basis of samples. And we have some language we call GC C++, which uh, comprises of a subsection of original language, but very limited. So, for instance, in C++ uh, standard, where the specificator first operated, the limitations were large. I mean, in context pro function but it uh, should contain one return expression type defs only, and um, all these things uh, look similar in what we see in metaprogramming on the basis of scale of samples, then limitations were easier, and you could uh, employ cycles and other things, but it is specified strictly what can be used, what cannot be used, why so happens. So there are three reasons to that. From one hand, we need to make the source code of a program imported uh, through importable through compilers one c++ compiler can compile the program and another compiler uh, on clang if we compile a program the ngcc should also have should also compile it correctly so we need to specify or limit uh, it somehow and make compilers support the same number of functionality they can calculate during compilation. And here we have a problem because C++ is a very unfriendly towards ST interpretation on which it is usually based, uh, I mean the calculations during compilation. Why? If we look at the table, this table shows an equivalent of a complexity of uh, languages of uh, development. I take specification and standards from various languages and calculated how many pages they have uh, in um, in terms of if we take more than 2,200 2, uh, words uh, and signs per page as a basis. C++ is not the winner here. And other language that was criticized uh, to be too complex through these metrics uh, looks uh, much easier than others. So. Const expert specificator was introduced to, to make these limitations uh, obvious for developers. If we again get back in Haskell language, there are no such limitations. 
and in C, what in C++ we have GC, C++, this language out there is completely is totally equal to the original and Scala and D the same case, but D is uh, uh, much is, is more is simpler than that, and it can make an interpreter of the language. And Walter Bright in 2007 just added the full interpreter of D language into compiler. That's why specificators of such type uh, there was no need to have one. If we look at const expo as a positive hint for optimization, how it uh, really works in the majority of cases, we can. Look at the history and remember that in C++ it used to have two attempts to introduce such positive hints of, op of optimization. C++ uh, started from C with the register specificator. Um, it uh, hinted compilers that uh, this uh, changes should be stored in the register, not the memory. Frankly speaking, in my life I didn't uh, witness anyone using it. After specificator was introduced. Uh, uh, it turned out to be. It turned out that um, developers will do better decisions uh, than those of compilers. And the same thing with inline specificator. Initially, it was introduced to go to make hints uh, to compilers what functions should be inline, what should not. And compilers uh, learned how to inline without uh, hints from developers. And now. They ignore such specificators because uh, uh, they uh, assess uh, the necessity of inlines um, depending on specifier. And this inline specificator has one important function left. This is transferring transfer of additional information to linker for deduplication of code. From the other hand, we have very interesting example of negative uh, hint to, comp to compiler uh, in optimization. Keyword is volatile. It makes a reverse thing. It says, uh, please do not uh, com optimize here, and uh, value and uh, the compiler should uh, write or put uh, the variables, uh, not caching it, not thinking that it won't change. Uh, strangely enough, such specifier still works, and uh, it is still needed. So what is uh, the lesson learned from this case? If we speak uh, in more broader sense, the language of development programming should not include idioma that does not that do not add new semantics to the language. For instance, if we compare it against context pro story, we can say that the programming language should not uh, contain positive hints on optimization because they do not wa work. Well, they do, but for a very short period of time. Other and afterwards, they just become a ballast. If we look at uh, the future, not the past, we see the following picture. From one hand, introducing such specifier uh, created huge interest towards optimization based on computation during compilation, and that's good. And number two, if we look at this transition from standards uh, 171420, uh, the language is enhancing because People try to actively use it for optimization, and they want this instrument to be as uh, powerful as possible, to have as uh, many functions as possible in it. And they, uh, and they, and under pressure, the committee on standardization is forced to enhance all that and to use new structures that can be used in JC and C++. Uh, C++ 1.7 version, if const expert function is there and more enhanced thing a more complicated thing. It has side effects. But if we look at, for instance, prepare the C++ 2.0, again, they enhance the language, uh, huge uh, super dissemination of specifier for the standard library, new specifiers, constivale and constinit are emerging. And if we look at uh, proposals, we can see const expert for arguments of functions for cycle four. And const expert other things. So it's like a snowball growing language through utilization of this uh, philosophy of const expert wherever it is possible. From the other hand, what we see, first of all, the initial utilization, you mean, I mean the same story with the, the samples, the um, utilization that's raised the thought of uh, didn't have a go. People started to use const expert as a means of optimization, not uh, an enhanced means of code generation. Even where const expert is used uh, for code generation, the specifier you do not need the specifier, but the set of rules uh, that are known to all compilers who are that are done in C++ and those 
that can automatically tackle all these tasks without pushing the developers uh, to put all the specifiers uh, across the code. And another point here, const export is a weak contract sort of between implementator, executor of the functionality and the user. Why weak? Because the opportunity to calculate function during compilation, compiler can assess it on its own without participation of uh, and hints uh, from the developer. Point number two, const expert is enhancing the duplication of code. For instance, this code is uh, from the official proposal for the standardization committee for C++. Two both functions implementation, one for utilization for compilation and the other is standard. One uh, functionality, two implementation, two executions. Next point. Again, const export and inline also recognizes um, uh, transfer of code from SVP to head uh, code uh, and enhances the time of compilation of programs and weakens the encapsulation because things people would have hidden before now they should be shown because inter because the compiler of C++ during compilation should see the body of the function to know how to calculate it during compilation. Const export actually is uh, uh, breaking the portability of uh, things among compilers. In all this optimization, we have uh, 3D off uh, trade-off uh, uh, between results of compilation and the process. And the trade-off depends on what we compile and implementation of the engine that uh, makes all the calculations. So, for instance, in the worst case, we can have in const expert functions uh, an endless cycle that will mean the stop of compiler if it is not limited. In, ox in const expert function, we can have uh, unlimited recursion and uh, stack overload. And compiler should work with this somehow, either fail or limit itself. And the majority of compilers will try to limit themselves and um, allocate the pool of resources that are available for this engine. But this pool is different one from the other. How to specify it formally on the level of the language is unclear. So you will always have such opportunity to um, uh, have a program that is compiling successfully under one compiler, and the other compiler will say will say no, um, offering you HP compila compilation in other compilators. And actually, an opportunity or a necessity to make calculations during compilation depends not on the semantics of the function and the willingness of the developer, but the code that is um, part of it. It is not uh, the expression instrument a developer can use to describe a task and how it is tackled. In C++, const expert is just a means to tell the, the compiler how to compile this function. And I think it is not good. And at the end, this all leads us to a huge growth of uh, complexity of languages. A lot of new things, a lot of new things from developers. All three languages uh, mix up, mixed together. C++ is uh, uh, mixed with the metaprogramming on the basis of scale, of, of samples, and uh, it goes together with the general C++ and general C. We don't know what will happen next. And a couple of points uh, we lack here in the language. Point one, actually, Calculations during compilation can be used as a means to enhance the uh, checking of the semantics on the level of compilation. For instance, you have a an object that is initialized by values uh, uh, that are acceptable and not acceptable values. For instance, uh, uh, data, global data variables that are not initialized during compilation. And for instance, you put the month number 45. If you use uh, the structure of data in variables during execution, you want the code of error, for instance, uh, wrong input data. If you initializing, if you're doing initialization during compilation, you want to notify the developer that you're doing something wrong and manifest this uh, uh, mistake as a compilation mistake, uh, reducing the time to search and uh, correct this mistake. But there are no C++ instruments uh, that uh, can allow you, that, that will allow you to do this elegantly. And another point, negative hint, uh, optimization hint, uh, hint that is related, related to const export. In the industrial code, there are always aspect-oriented functionality part, uh, for instance, logging and time metrics uh, that make sense uh, 
when executing. But do you, when you use this function during compilation, logging is not interesting for you. But it prevents optimization through calculation during compilation, and uh, it cannot uh, automatically define whether you need the log or not for this function. If there is a specific specifier or an instrument that uh, tells the compiler that in the context of uh, calculations during compilation, this function can be ignored and the major uh, part of the code can be eligible for optimization of this type. And finally, one minute to go, I'm finishing. And the last but not least argument point, we developed uh, an instrument uh, that produces uh, CT optimization on the basis of machine code. It takes uh, binary code compiled already, it uh, looks into it and looks at the parts of uh, code uh, that can be read today that are, do not rely on external data and patch the code. So what utilization of this instrument, what it showed us? First, optimization can be done in an automatic mode with full coverage of code and such optimization is uh, independent uh, of compiler or the language of programming because we work on the level of machine code and we do not know why this function is compiled or this code is compiled. And another interesting point, in our case, we do not have limitations in uh, in separated uh, compilation existing in C++. We can go and look at what functions were and calculate everything possible during compilation. That's it. Thank you. Any questions, please? You analyzed the uh, approaches uh, existed at the setup of, com of compilers, but uh, among those approaches, you didn't mention one. A huge question on optimize, uh, optimization of, comp of compilers was done, was created by Novosibirsk. Uh, school, university. They worked a lot on this. Do you know about their developments? No, I'm sorry. I mostly focused on this on this hype and the talks and discussions. Th that's one question. I understand. The next question is why working, why doing optimization at all? What? Please use microphone. Why optimizing? I don't know how to respond. Optimization allows you capabilities of machines today are so so powerful, super computers and all that. Uh, if a compiled program is not optimized, it will calculate anyway very quickly. Two points here, two points to this so industrial thing and uh, a day by day element. Industrial thing. There are a lot of various organizations uh, that use a huge farms of uh, servers uh, for calculations. Uh, Google and Facebook, they have huge data centers. And uh, reducing costs uh, for execution of program uh, for 5% uh, five will mean uh, buying additional servers, servers uh, that are very costly. Another point, uh, more philosophical one probably. Well, it was once published in Harvard, as far as I remember, um, a, a post uh, saying that Every year, machines become more and more powerful, and the uh, programs uh, get uh, slow, more slow, slower and slower. You know, at previous machines UI worked uh, faster, but now machines are more powerful, and it doesn't work so fast. So are we going in the right direction? So, no microphone, sorry. There is no microphone, it's impossible to interpret. But the answer is as follows. I believe that the best approach are the D uh, languages. Why? Actually, the whole like idea with CTFE, it arrived from D language. And if we have a, like next year, I know there will be a Walter Bright article about the history of D language development. And it will also talk about the meta programming popularity, why is it so popular? And it's part of the optimizing mechanism, it's part of the language, and they were settling this issue not at the level of language, because it, language does not have any idioms. const expert is not this method to express the semantics of program, no. But the, this is one of the ways the functions can be used.
but at the same time it's not causing the way the wave of hype and or complexities last question thank you my question is as follows I've, you said positive optimizations are not needed and it is something that caught my eye because const is used everywhere so positive optimization hints I meant them because const or restrict in C which is used in many functions is needed for this as for const yes I agree so on one side it's an optimization hint but const is having some semantic load for example if, if it's an argument or a link to you know, some object you say that this the body of the function will not be changed the semantics right well yes but register for example and restrict they are used when free type it exists Okay, great. No more time for questions. Thank you.